going to a writer's conference, how to be comfortable, cool, and confident. Hello and welcome back to my writing journey. I'm Ellen Byram, author of The Crime of Fashion Mysteries and soon to be a new book, Crook Tales for Two. Today I am journeying in my mind to writers' conferences. Maybe you've been there, maybe you haven't been to a, write, a mystery writers' conference, but they are a lot of fun. And uh, right at the outset, I have to say that mystery writers are among the most gracious and welcoming people you can meet. So it is always a pleasure to go to a mystery conference. I also want to say that mystery conferences have different tones and flavors to them. For instance, there is BoucherCon, which is a big national international mystery conference where people come and there are uh, considerably more male writers than at some of the other conferences and there are thriller writers. So you are going to see, or at least in the past, I have seen a lot of leather jackets. They want to look tough and want you to think they are, even if they're not. So I have also been to a romance writers conference in Richmond, Virginia, and that was really wonderful. It was uh, my then agent was speaking, but I noticed a distinct difference between the mystery writers. These mostly women wore a lot of pink and a lot of ruffles, but underneath it all, they were tough. Romance writers are very dedicated to their craft and they mean business, so don't you dare step on their high heels. And then there's Malice Domestic. I have the most experience with that one, had been probably a dozen or more times. It is a conference held mostly in the East Coast in Maryland. It used to be in Northern Virginia, but it is a big, wide open, welcoming conference. And you will see everything from Victorian hats to people wearing cat t-shirts. And I'm personally glad there is no who wore it better competition between those cat t-shirts. Um, I would never judge. And then there are people who wear t-shirts with slogans on them. This can go too far. I once saw a woman sitting alone, reading a book and her t-shirt said, I'm reading, go to hell. This is a bridge too far. This is a slogan too far. I think that if you want to wear that t-shirt, wear it at home. Uh, don't take it to a conference where you're going to be seen by hundreds of people. You know, be smart with your clothes when you go to these conferences. If you're a writer and you're going to be meeting your agent or your editor, you're going to want to be you, but step it up a notch. Um, also, let's talk about shoes. You want to be very comfortable at these conferences, and shoes are key to keeping you a happy camper. Now, a lot of times you might want to bring along a pair of heels or a pair of uh, very fancy flats because you're going to the dinner, the fancy dinner, or out to lunch with your agent. So I would recommend that, you know, maybe take a bag if you can't handle it. But, you know, you know your feet, you know your shoes, but be sure that you're comfortable because you're going to be on them for eight or ten hours uh, a day. Besides shoes, Try on your outfits before you go to the conference. Spread them out, make sure that they go together, they look good, but you want to make sure that while you'd been hiding home in the pandemic, that nothing untoward has happened in your clothes. They may not fit, and that would be a tragic. You do not want to look like you're going to explode at the conference. Room temperatures can vary widely when you're at a conference. They can be very, very warm and they can be very, very cold. So obviously layers are key. Bring a sweater or a jacket that you can slip on during a session. Um, and you might also consider wearing a pretty scarf or pashmina to cover your neck when the air conditioning unit is blowing down it. Layers are key, comfortable shoes are key. And also I wanna make another point about comfort is you might be starving and tempted to take too many sweets off the table, sweets, candies, chocolates that may be around. I do recommend sticking in your bag a protein bar or a little package of nuts or possibly some cheese sticks to keep you going and give you some protein so you don't get too lightheaded with too many sweet things, even the caffeine that might be made available to you at the conference. Wear your name tag where people can see it. You want to meet people, you're there to meet people, so even if you don't like name tags, and I'm not the biggest name tag fan, 
always wear it where you can see it, where you can say hello. Many conferences give you a bag for your books, a little promo bag. But remember to also pack up your postcard, your swag, your bookmarks, and your business cards so that you have something to hand someone when you meet them. Finally, be friendly. Introduce yourself. Someone has to go first. If you're at a loss for something to say, ask writers about their books or their latest work. Uh, most people love talking about themselves. And if they are readers, ask what their favorite books are and don't pout if it, they don't happen to be yours. This is your chance to say hello, introduce yourself and say, by the way, I have some books that I'm, I'll be selling here. So please drop by my table. That's all I have to say, and um, I'll come back and see you next week. Bye.